Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Gorilla, the Tier 5 German SPG. It's located on the north spot of Mainz and this one is under the command of Angelina 75. And she's been sending in the replays thick and fast because she's been having a great time and she's definitely outpacing Talon now on the, the contest to get the weekend lion. In fact, she got the what lion with this replay last weekend. Yep, she got it before the re the replay weekend had even started. And Talon said, oh well, I can see this one straight away. Well, we can see the tracers from the enemy RT coming out of the back and oh, we've got an easy eight coming up to the center. And that's why Angelina's gone to the Nigel spot. So she can do that to them, yes. She can really punish them here because the Griller has a very high trajectory which means that you can shoot over the rocks and into the enemy tanks who are trying to get up the south approach to the hill. Okay, we've got a Valiant now. Getting ready to hit him. Oh, changed, gone to the EZ8, but switched back to the Valiant. Rouse out. Oh, it hit the vehicle, but it didn't pen. Now, he did give him some stun, though, because Angelina is using nothing but stun ammunition on this gorilla. Well, the Nigel spot, as you know, was found uh, by me about oh, five years ago now in uh, position C1. Oh, she just killed the uh, EC8 with one shot, a blind kill, and he's out the game. Yes, it was found by me five years ago, and we uh, I found it uh, by looking around for a new spot to fire from that would give better angles, and I happened to come across this spot where you could actually shoot at the enemy tanks on the south side of the hill and there was nothing that they could do about it because they couldn't see who was hitting them and it was hitting them in the side so even if they hit behind the rock they were getting splatted and you can even hit the tanks over on the east side of the map like this 44-1 who's just uh, gone hiding oh we've got an ikb 90 b and he thinks it's smart to stay out in the open when he just found out to his cost, he got smacked by a couple of tanks. Rounds out. Direct hit. And he's out the game. So she's got her second kill. And in fact, uh, yeah, she's doing rather well. She's not the lead scorer yet. She's equal to the score for the top number of kills. This is a tier 7 game. She's tier 5 RP. So she's going to do rather well on damage. Go for the Eagle 7. Hits him for 36. He's sitting there in the water and he's not the best position to be in because we hold the top of the hill, which means he's virtually permanently spotted. And Angelina's going to have another go at him in a couple of seconds. She's got an 18.9 second reload. Round out. Direct hit. At least I think it was a direct hit. I think it pretty was. 139 hit points from damage. She got the stun assist and he was taken out of the game. She's now going to try and take out this Panzer 3 4, who's on the South Island. Okay, we can't see him at the moment because we've lost sight. The MT 25 is spotting. Nope, that one didn't. It may have stunned him, but I don't think it actually hit him. Okay, she's looking over onto the uh, near the cap area because the Viz 44 1 managed to get fairly close. She's loaded. Dialing in, rounds out, direct hit, 145, and the T25 AT jumps on that uh, Viz, and he has been taken out of the game. The 25T, T25 AT managed to shoot him, possibly with a 105mm gun. Either that or 90mm. She's now got a T1 Heavy in her sights, and we can still see those traces. No, that one hit the, the sides of the hill. She will have to keep moving though, because some RT players do happen to know. Sorry about that, move the mouse. Some have some RT players on the other team and the opposite team may know about the, the Nigel spot at C1, and they may try to counter battery if they do. So it actually does help to move about a little bit to throw them off. There's plenty of spots around here he, you can, she can move to. Okay, Panzerfier Ausrung H sitting on that corner, but he's now moved just behind the rock. She's going to try and get this Panzer 3 4 rounds out. Looks good. Yes! 121, another near miss. 
but it did do damage. It tracked him. He's now taking huge amounts of damage. She's picked up 440 from Stun Assist, and she gets 8 from a track that was destroyed as well. The enemy are down by two tanks now. There's a tank, a Sturimil, I believe, behind that rock. There's well see down there. She's firing in, and it hits the front of the rock rather than the back. So she's changing position yet again. That Panzer Fear is still there. She can't get him that side. She might be able to land a shell on that side. He pops out into view just momentarily. He gets tracked. He fires. And... Well, it doesn't show that she got the kill because it's the MT-25. But I suspect she might have picked up some damage. It's not showing us any damage. But they're now in a very good position. They're three up on the enemy. There's only five enemy tanks left. Two of those are our team. We know where they are because they're in the corner. Very obviously the tracer was seen coming out of the corner. And we've got one of our arties counter-battering. In fact, I think both of them. The M44 and the PP. They lost one of their arties earlier in the game. That was the AMX 13 F3. But they've got two Fifis, so I think that uh, Angelina might try to get those later. That's why she's moving about a bit, because uh, she doesn't want those guys to try and counter battery her. Okay, the Wizzy 131 GFT is sitting on the corner. Now you can loop shells over that rock into that area. And she tries to do that, but doesn't get a hit. Now, she might be spotted by him as she gets past this rock. Okay, she's using the rock just ahead of her to obstruct his sight. But she's got a much better angle on him now. If he puts fo pushes forward to see where she is, he's probably going to take a shell. Well, that warns him to not get too close. But she's decided to go a bit further south to get a, a better angle on that Wizzy 131. From just over this corner, there's a spot where you can go into the surf and shoot from there. And it's very difficult for the enemy to see you. Okay, she's got a better angle now. She should be able to hit him. Yep, she's dialing in. She's loaded and ready to go. And he can't go back because if he does, he's going to get hit by another one. And he takes a hit for 188 to direct hit, and he's out the game. So she got some stun assist off that as well. Okay, there's only a Sturamil and one Fifi left out of the enemy team. She's had a great game so far. That's out. She hits the Sturamil for 167. Remember, because she's tier 5 and these are tier 6s and tier 7s, she's going to earn extra XP for all the higher tier tanks that she hits. She's going to go for another go, see if she can get the Sturamil. Dance out. Yes, lands against the rock, but it still did some splash damage. It looks like the arties at the back are actually firing armor piercing or something like that because they're not getting stunned, but they are not making big holes in the ground either. Yeah, that's a, that was a heat round. And she gets another hit on the steering wheel for 163 this time. Shows there is some advantage for firing standard HE. MT-25 is whittling away that stew mill, getting very close to it. And there he goes. And that means now there's only one enemy left. And we just saw where he was because he's in those bushes right at the back. Just a little over to the... There he is. So she stunned him. Even though she didn't kill him, she stunned him. And now he's inside. He won't last very long. That was the M44 trying to get a hit. The other PP will fire in. There he is. And the kill shot went to the MT25 in the end. Here's the end of battle stats. And that was an ace tanker game for Angelina75 in the Gorilla. She also got a second mark of excellence in that game. So she's now got the blue uh, rings on the barrel. 
as well as a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, she got nine and she got a confederate. Despite the fact she killed two enemy tanks, she also got the highest number of kills on her team, at least six tanks, subsequently taken out by other teammates. And look at that win eight, very high indeed, 3,625. And that's why she's won this week's contest so quickly, because that was a very good score indeed. Super Unicum level. When we look at the team score, we can see that uh, she's actually in third place on damage on her team, but uh, there were two members of the enemy team that were actually ahead of her, so she's fifth place overall. The highest damage actually was done by that Sturu Mill, and he picked up a high caliber top gun and tank sniper for 3,208 hit points of damage. The second highest damage was their Fifi, who was also busy. He was doing 1,902. Pop Goes the Weasel was his name. I think I've seen that name before. And uh, the third highest damage was the MT-25, got the last kill of the game. And he also got a Pascucci's medal, 1,718 uh, hit points. And we can see that uh, Angelina was down at, uh, well, in the fifth place with 1,333. And, of course, her confederate. And nobody else got a confederate, so she must have hit more than anyone else who was in that game. If we look at the number of kills, we can see that the highest was the Sturu Mill with six. Four kills went to the MT-25. Three kills went to that Wizzy 131 GFT. And then Angelina is in joint fourth place with the T-25AT, the T-3485M, the King Tiger captured on her own team, and the Fifi on the enemy team. All got two kills. When it came to base XP... It was the MT-25 did the best with 1,251. Angelina got the second place with 1,047. And the third place went to the Britannia Panther, or Baguette Panther, 838. Angelina fired 21 direct hits, uh, or 20 hit, 21 hits, rather, shots. Eight direct hits and one penetration. Get it right in the right order. 14 splash on the enemy as well. 1,333 hit points, of which 1,188 were at more than 300 meters. She hit nine of the enemy, killed two, and did 364 hit points of damage assistance and 1,157 of stun assist of 13 stuns. She earned 42,959 credits for the battle. She got 94,081 for mission completion, a total of 137,040 credits altogether. And after ammunition resupply, took away 126,435 credits. She got 1,570 XP times two for the first victory, 786 for completing a mission and 3,927 experience points altogether. So it just goes to show the Nigel spot is still very effective and Angelina is getting better every day. In fact, um, Talon did say that it's getting more difficult to beat her as time goes by. I've got further proof of that because I've got another video coming back up after this one showing two further replays by Angelina where she's actually managed to score quite highly. So even if she hadn't got this ace tanker, I think it's very likely she would have won the contest for this week anyway purely with those replays but i uh, hope you enjoyed that one if you did please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and thank you for watching